Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the full moon, uh, the Cancer full moon. So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for a message? What do we have for a message today? Queen of Cups reverse going to be very emotional. It's going to be a very, 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 very emotional full moon. There could be some tears that are shed. Emotions all over the place. Some people will be unable to master their emotions. There could be some deep sadness. There could be some heartbreak with the Queen of Cups reverse. There's disappointment. Um, drowning in emotions. Okay. Magician. Somebody's taking action, which is causing this heartbreak. So this is somebody that is in a position of power that is doing something. This is somebody that is making a decision to do something. They're taking control. This is somebody who's very self-aware of what they need to do, and they're doing it. So this is a doer that is doing something that may be uh, making somebody emotional. Okay? Eight of Swords reversed. So this is an obstacle that is being removed. Somebody is removing an obstacle. Okay, they're stepping outside of their comfort zone and they're doing something. They're breaking free. They're escaping some sort of mentality. Somebody's been stuck in some sort of mentality, but now they're willing to shed something that is emotionally unfulfilling. Okay, I feel, I feel like we already have a couple of different people here. We have one person that is going to be sad that somebody is basically deciding to do something. Their mind is made up. Somebody's taking action to create something. Temperance reverse. There's probably going to be some... Oh, their emotions are going to be all over the place, okay? This is, this is emotions all over the place. Absolutely. Because of somebody's actions... Whoever is taking action is taking action for themselves. Okay, they're doing what's best for themselves. And that's what they need to do. But whoever they're dealing with will probably not be happy with the action that is being taken. Anyhow, temperance reverse is a feelings of, or emotions all over the place. Again, mirroring the Queen of Cups reversed. This is, this is, uh, extremes, okay, it's extremes, extreme, uh, imbalance, somebody could, there could be an imbalance, there could be impatience, somebody could be frustrated, they could be upset, there could be moodiness, somebody, um, has been fearful, this person, okay, they're marrying each other. This person has been fearful. They've been trapped in a situation. But now they're taking action. They're taking a ga action against a person that may be very emotional, could be controlling, could be wishy-washy, clingy, needy. Uh, something feels off with this person. There's negative behavior, negative... Uh, No reciprocation, perhaps. Lack of reciprocation. It could be even emotional blackmail here. Somebody's been experiencing a lot of ups and downs with an individual who uh, seems to be overly emotional. Okay, this is an extreme and this is emotional. Extremely, well, it is going to be an extremely emotional time as well, but there's also an extremely emotional person here. There could be some manipulation as well. There's definitely going to be some emotional disappointment or upheaval or chaos. Somebody may also be engaging in negative patterns. If, some, if there's drinking or addictions here, there's going overboard with the temperance reversed. Trying to escape because this is about escaping. The Eight of Swords reversed is escaping. So somebody is trying to escape their feelings. You know, 
you got to be careful with that. Somebody may be trying to escape their feelings and they could go overboard. So, you know, if there's drugs or drinking or alcohol or addictions or whatever it is, you know, uh, there could be uh, consequences, I'm just saying. Um, anyhow, the magician takes action, does something. Somebody's about to do something that probably isn't good for them. You know, I'm not sure if it's this person or whatever, but with the temperance reverse, this is going overboard typically. Lack of control here, but the, the magician usually takes control. Very aware. Very, the, the magician is aware, has some sort of connection, knows, knows that they have the power or thinks that they have the power. Knight of Cups reverse. Again, emotions, emotional outburst, uh, burying feelings, uh, hiding feelings, um, distraught. I think we definitely have somebody here that is distraught. And I feel like they're about to do something that... You know, uh, I don't know if it gets them in trouble or what. Oh, a Knight of Cups reverse. We have heartbreak here, definitely. There is somebody, and this could be somebody that is heartbroken that is doing something. They're they're doing something because they can't manage their feelings. They can't, they can't, somebody can't manage their feelings. So they, they may be trying to wear, you know, mask their feelings and to escape their feelings. Now the magician is somebody that definitely takes action. <laughs> what is this ma magician? Oh my God. Oh my goodness gracious, Ten of Swords. So the Magician is somebody that is hurt. We have somebody here that is hurting. They are hurting, they are in pain, they are suffering. They have been betrayed or they have been stabbed in the back or something has happened that, you know, has caused some sort of loss. There is a loss here with the Ten of Swords. There's suffering, there's pain. Somebody is trying to bury their pain in some sort of addiction because they can't master their emotions. And, you know, I don't think it's going to end well. I don't. The Ten of Swords is the end. I mean, we have a traitor here. Somebody has been... There's, there could be a, a power trip, okay? This could be a power... You could have somebody that's on a power trip. They're... Or they're abusing something. There could be some abuse. I feel like it's a drug for some of you. It's alcohol, drugs, food, something like that. Or I don't know what it is. Um, but this is the end of a painful situation. Somebody is trying to... Or well, they're going to overdo it. It feels like they're gonna they're going to extremes with that temperance reverse. And there's going to be an ending because of it. Because the Ten of Swords is, the, is an ending. Okay, this is a this is a uh, death. This is a death of a situation. We could have some illness here as well with these cards. We could have somebody here that is ill. They're sick, you know, and that that could cause heartbreak. You know, they're, they're, we could have somebody that is taking action to break free from something, and that causes heartbreak. You know, this is breaking free. This is escaping some sort of prison. Okay, it's over. It's over. The Ten of Swords is it's over. This isn't emotionally fulfilling. We could have a master manipulator here as well. With that magician, the magician is a master manipulator. You think about any magician you've ever watched. This is somebody that is very skilled at doing what they do. They're very skilled at manipulation, at, at tricking people. So there is some sort of, there's some sort of uh, deceptive situation here. Okay, there's deception here.
This is feeling betrayed. We have somebody here. This is feeling betrayed. So somebody is definitely feeling betrayed. They're, they can't master their emotions. They're wanting to escape these feelings. Okay? Feelings, feelings, feelings. And they're going to do something. Out of pain. Because they're hurting. What are they going to do? They could do something crazy. Um, it could be dealing with a Sagittarius. could be dealing with a Gemini. It could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now, this is a choice. This is also a card of consequences. This is making a choice, a major choice. Somebody is making a major choice. There will be consequences for the choice that they make. It does have to do with a partnership. It has to do with a partnership. They may be choosing another option. And in this partnership, does not have to be the lovers, even though it says lovers? They're making a choice in regards to a partnership. They're hurt. They're hurt. Somebody may be choosing, like I said, another option. This is a choice between two options. It is. There will be consequences. But there's commitment here as well. Somebody is committed. They're committed to doing whatever it is that they're planning on doing. This is a well thought out plan. Somebody has planned on doing something. Okay. But they probably didn't plan on going to this extent. It feels like it's going to an extent. Knight of Swords. So this is in a hurry. Moving very fast. Rushing in very, very fast. Making an entrance. Did I say swords? I meant to say spears. Um, which is would be wands. Knight of Wands. Could we deal with a fire sign? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, this is somebody that is taking action right now. They're done thinking about it. Act now, think later. So somebody is going to be doing something spur of the moment based on their feelings. This is somebody that is definitely in a hurry. They're in a hurry. They're, they're, something to do with breaking free or escaping. Escaping some sort of prison. Removing an obstacle. There's been so many lies. Somebody has been confined to some sort of situation. Now they're breaking free. They're finding their courage and their confidence and their willpower to just do it. So somebody is doing something, and I feel like it's very spur of the moment. It's a sudden decision. This is a sudden decision, sudden choice. Somebody is making a sudden choice. Although I feel like they've thought about it. I feel like they've thought about it because if you think about the magician, the magician has to come up with the plans, right? So I feel like they've, there's been some sort of, you know, to manipulate, it's a thought out plan. It feels like, what's that called? Um, I don't know, maybe, it's, I don't even know what it's called. I don't, I don't watch TV. It's like a conspiracy, maybe? Not a conspiracy. Um, what's that called? You know, when, I'm sure people will tell me when people, it's a well thought out plan. I don't even know what it's called. But somebody is acting, okay? They're taking action. They, this is definitely taking action. They're making a choice. And it has to do with um, removing an obstacle that has been keeping them confined. This is the end. It is absolutely, it does lead to, a, I feel like it's a painful separation or that's what happened. That's what caused this pain. There may have been a separation from a partner or from somebody that caused this pain. Definitely painful. We're having somebody that cannot manage their feeling. They could be drinking, doing drugs. They could go and they could, it feels like they could do something spur of the moment. It could be some, and I want to say crazy. Nine of swords. Nine of Swords. This is somebody that is definitely feeling confined. 
And you see, see that roll? If it does look crazy, you can't take it anymore. We got somebody who can't take it anymore. It's like they're ready to flip by the looks of things. Attack. So, I don't know what the hell is going on, but it feels like we have somebody here that is overwhelmed. They're hurting. They're in pain. They're trying to mask the pain. They're about to take action. This is, could be violent. Okay, I'm just being honest with you. I'm not trying to scare anybody. That magician, this is like a, a well thought out plan. Uh, God, I wish I knew what it was called. I do, but I can't, I can't say it. Um, I can't get it to come out. Anyhow, um, there's, this is a heartbreaking situation. We have, this starts with heartbreak. It may have started with a, with a lack of love or a lack of reciprocation or some sort of emotional blackmail. It may have something to do with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. Somebody has done something. There could have been some manipulation that started this whole process or emotional blackmail or emotional coldness or something like that. There could be some envy or some jealousy that started this whole thing. It started the whole betrayal okay and now this betrayal it feels like this betrayal is coming to a head this person can't manage their feelings and i feel like they're going to react to the pain that they have been uh blocking you know you can only block pain for so long um i feel like uh there's, a, there's some sort of extreme need to take action Okay, I gotta take it. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. I gotta, I gotta. And, and there's revenge. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, there, that looks like revenge to me. It does. <sighs> we also, I'm gonna change the story for a minute. We also have somebody that is coming in very, very quickly. They have an opportunity for love. They're headed towards a new partner. It's sudden, a sudden entrance, a sudden arrival for some of you. If you have been trapped, you've been trapped, you've been in a situation, you've been alone, you've been restricted, you've been confined, you've been hurt, uh, you've been unloved, whatever. There is also somebody that is probably coming in very, very fast, okay? You've been worried that you're never going to be loved. There's somebody coming in. That's if you're single. They, this is worried about love. Somebody coming in very, very fast. This is the end of a painful situation and not being loved for somebody. I don't know who. If you are in a partnership, there could be some sort of betrayal. I am just being honest. We could have somebody here that is taking action because they're not in love. Okay? They're dealing with somebody that is very clingy and needy and wishy-washy and emotionally unavailable and... You know, they're looking for a relationship. They're looking for lo for more. So that could be the case as well. I do see somebody is making an unexpected choice because of love. That's what the lover's card is. It's an unexpected choice in love. And this all does have to do with love. And pain. So somebody is making a major choice and they've had plenty of time to think about it. They've been losing sleep, really struggling, but now they're taking action and they're going towards love by the looks of things. I'm done staying here. I'm going for it. Somebody is going towards something. Very, very, very fast. This is the end of suffering with the Ten of Swords. Somebody has been suffering. They have been in a situation that was safe, but emotionally unfulfilling. 
and now they've reached the breaking point and they can't take it anymore and they're about to break free. Good luck.